Hi all. In the part 2 and part 1 video, we have discussed lot of topic. In the part 2, part of 2 video, we have particularly discussed about the Asia's climate. So, there are 5 different types of climate which we have learnt in the part 2 video. <coughs> so, these are the 5 different type of climate which you are learnt. If you haven't see the part, uh, seen the part 1, part 2 and part 1 video, I will be posting it in the description box below. Go through it and view the part 1 and part 2 video. So, coming to the Tundra vegetation. What is Tundra vegetation? I told you what is Tundra climate. It is very cold. Tundra climate. Here only I told. Tundra climate is very cold. It is found beyond the Arctic Circle including northern part of Russia. The same <coughs> Tundra vegetation. So, Tundra vegetation is uh, found in the northern Russia, behind the bordering the Arctic Ocean. The vegetation consists of vegetation, very important, we are particularly talking about vegetation. Vegetation consists of mosses and leeches. First point, important. As I told you, discovered with the snow except the few months of summer. Okay. Wildlife. Wildlife means animals. What are those? Can you name the animals which are found in the cold areas? Post it below. The first is of polar bear, polar dog, seals, wolves, penguins, reindeer, reindeer, etc. We have completed the tundra vegetation. Coming to the tiger vegetation. Tiger, where is this found? Tiger vegetation found in the border belt of central part of Siberia. So it is located south to the south to the tiger vegetation. Sorry, tundra vegetation. Tiger vegetation is located south to the south to the tundra vegetation so here yeah, you can see this is the so uh, here you can see this is the taiga vegetation <coughs> and this brown part is the tundra vegetation so this taiga vegetation is found <coughs> to the south of the uh, behind <coughs> to the south of the tundra vegetation this is tundra vegetation this is taiga vegetation to the south of this tundra vegetation there is this taiga vegetation so the main main what we will call vegetation is the mosses fine cedar not mosses sorry pine fir cedar and spruce so they are very helpful because by using these hood found in the taiga taiga vegetation we are going, tiger forest we are going to use for making papers and rayon industry what are the wildlife animals tiger yeah, you can see this mink and sable mink and sable these two are the most important important what wildlife in the taiga vegetation so other than that, silver fox, lanix, sable are also there. Coming to the fourth, that is tropical deciduous forest. These types of forests are found in the India actually south, southeast and east of Asia. So they are receiving under to 150 centimeter of the rainfall. These are border of the deciduous forest. These consist of the broad leaves deciduous forest. So these are the, the species are teak, sal, sandalwood, people, neem, bamboo or found here. Wildlife, common animals such as elephants, tigers, lions, monkeys, leopards, rhinoceros and snakes like king, cobra are also living in this tropical deciduous forest. Coming to the... So, coming to the fourth type that is of thorny vegetation. Thorny vegetation are found in the desert area, hot and dry climate condition with a little rainfall allow very little vegetation in these areas. However, desert vegetation is characterized by cactus and thorny bushes and shrubs. So, these plants are white. Why they are white? They are white to conserve the water. So, there is no water in those area desert type. So, these are their roots are long and wide roots to absorb the water before the, before it gets soaked away so the most important animals found here are the who camel camel will call as the ship of the desert so it is very important coming to the last type that is the equatorial type so so this equatorial type of climate uh, forest these forests thrive thrive means very shrubby we can't 
enter it because of the large amount of the rainfall due to the hot and wet climate. Inch evergreen forests are found in the Malaysia, Indonesia and part of Philippines. So one thing I need to tell now only we are going to learn within the three line. Uh, these are called evergreen equatorial evergreen forest because they do not shed they do not leave their leaf they do not uh, make a bear without uh, they do not shed their leaves at a time okay that's the reason they will be always green okay that's the reason we will call it as the green forest equatorial evergreen forest so the most important species are epiphyte species such as rosewood hibuni and uh, rubber and chinchon chinchona okay these are the most important species so as i told you these do not shed the leaves at the ones right so these animals found here what are the animals monkeys lots tea lizards elephants tea fox and snakes and ape so these are the most important wildlife found here even though some small animals found but these are the most important wildlife so this equatorial evergreen forest i hope this is clear i'm going to recap uh, this equal evergreen ones they do not shed their leaves at the ones most important such as rosewood and ebony are found here most important wildlife such as tree lizards frogs snakes are found here and uh, the, they are it is characterized by hot and wet climate it is found in the Malaysia, Indonesia and part of the Philippines. So this topic, these are the important topic which I told now. Okay, um, if it is really helpful, so please subscribe this channel. By doing so, I will be encouraged to make more videos like this. So please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you.